I find myself being pretty interested and intrigued as someone who spends a lot of her time trying to find how do you connect with certain groups, how do you plan um, programs. Now, has the mind map come up for, for you guys, Leslie and Jeffrey and Nicole? Yes, looks good. Okay, thank you. I just want to be sure it actually, I had the right monitor selected. And so you saw the, the data that Jeffrey presented, and a lot of that is the, um, the, the scores as far as what they answered on the survey. And what he didn't tell you is that he and Bashal did a whole other level of analysis that tried to find some of the statistical significances in, in those. And when you look at those um, tables and you look at uh, just the graphs, and you begin to try to figure out how does this connect to a program that I'm doing or I'd like to maybe put together a proposal or I need to just see what's, going, what's the lay of the land in, in this area where maybe I've just begun a job or I'm entering a new area or we just see a, a, a new topic. Nutrient management is just getting to be much more important in this area, so I need to figure out who do I need to be talking to and how do we connect so that we can um, make good use of our time. I'm, I know that those of us in Extension, we don't see more people in our departments anymore, and we sure don't see our budgets getting larger. We're having to constantly do more with less. And so having some, um, some ideas where to start or at least to begin looking can be pretty helpful. And, and so we looked at this, and, and what you're looking at right now is called a mind map. And the, the middle piece is just this project. And if you can't make out all the words, um, don't worry about that. It's, that's not the critical part here. There isn't going to be a lot of data on these pieces that you need to see. It's just seeing some of the relationships, and hopefully those will come through pretty well for you. And around that, that turquoise um, square or rectangle, are some of the pieces of this survey. All of them aren't there yet. This is about two-thirds done. But you can see some of the pieces of the survey. You can, um, some of the, the blue one is the relevant ways that people receive information. Um, the green is who answered the survey, or basically these are the people we're trying to reach. Who, who are the people that you're trying to get this nutrient management information to? The purple was the relevant ways to disseminate. Um, this orange is the relevant collaborators, and this pinkish red is some of the barriers that um, came out in this. And so what the mind map is meant to do is to kind of begin to map out the relationships between these things um, what and group things and see how do these things group together, how is this part over here related to this part over here. And so when you look at these initial ones, um, you can expand them. And so if I begin to expand each of these, you can begin to see some of the different pieces. And if you look, it, it, it's, it matches with the slides that Jeffrey had before, the different groups or the different uh, information sources, the people that you would collaborate with or the people that answered the survey. Each of these little boxes um, fits with some of those groupings on those uh, slides that you saw. And so when you take and um, expand this out, let's say you're particularly interested in um, doing a program or, or maybe you're looking at a grant project and you want to see who do I need to collaborate with. You know, I want to reach, maybe I want to reach farmers. And if you look here, you can see some of the, what the data said statistically as far as who did farmers um, collaborate with, where did they like to get information, how do they like to disseminate the information, or maybe you think university or extension folks are um, part of the group that you, you need to be a part of. And you can begin to see the relationships wherever these lines are. These are statistically significant things that Jeffrey and Bouchal found in their, in their data. And it's a way to kind of begin um, just visualizing what connections are there. Uh, so, for example, if you look at some of the barriers here, 
You can see some of the sources of information. There were some barriers with social media that it tended to be a, a high time commitment type of a, a program. Or if you looked at a collaboration barrier there, you tended to see that in the north central region, one of those barriers was that there wasn't a lot of relationship with tribal governments. Whereas outside the north central region, we didn't see that as much. And so this is just a way of kind of connecting the dots and giving you a way to begin to say, okay, here's some of the tendencies. And Jeffrey and Bishal were kind enough to spend a lot of phone time with me to walk me through the statistics. And I think one thing they kept emphasizing was this was a national survey, and this is showing some tendencies. But I think we all know in practice that our own programs, as you put them into place, that sometimes there's there's already great synergies somewhere where maybe that's not true in other places. So you might have very good relationships, whereas this, this national survey didn't pick that up. And so how do we take a tool like this, which says, okay, here's what this big survey found, and let's you take it and pull it onto your own computer and begin to use it for your own program planning or to begin mapping your own, um, your own network, your own pathways where you think you can um, work with the resources you have, the limitations you have, um, and so on. And so what we're going to do is that this mind map will be um, available to look at where you can expand and, you know, contract, click on things, make them appear, disappear to visualize what it is you want to see or not see at any particular time. But then it's also going to be available to download. And um, this is the software package that Nicole has, and there's a lot of different ways it can be made available. Um, there's, it can be downloaded for some other mind mapping programs, and there's even some that are uh, open source and free, and we'll make it available in that format so that people can take and actually do it in a mind mapping software. There's also the option to get it in a, like a Word or a PowerPoint format so that you can take and use this and to begin to um, customize it to your... Uh, your local needs, your state needs, whatever you, you find as far as your uh, nutrient management uh, network. And so that is kind of a quick run through of the tool that's going to be made available. And I believe, Nicole, we're hoping to make it available right around after the first of the year. Is that the timeline that you guys had? That's correct. Yeah, we're hoping to have this so that folks have it in an easy to access way and something that they can use pretty productively by about the first of the year. Yep. And so that, um, that is kind of a quick rundown on the, the mind map and how it's trying to take all of this information that was generated in this survey and begin to put it into a, a visual and connected format where you can pick out the pieces you want to see but then also be able to take and use it in your own in your own programming. And so, with that, I'll I'll turn it back over to you, Nicole, um, for for the final part.